It's important to review your institution's academic misconduct policy or ask your academic counselor. Examples may include copying someone's paper or copying straight from a source without giving them credit, otherwise known as plagiarism, cheating on a test or assignment, working as a group when you should do the assignment individually, letting someone complete your work for you, Your school. Your school has its own process for investigating and assigning penalties for academic misconduct. The NCAA. If academic misconduct involves certain factors, it could become an NCAA violation, and there could possibly be additional penalties that affect you. Your school has its own process and penalties that it will assign to you. Look at your institution's academic misconduct policy online or ask your campus or athletics academic advisor to help explain the policy and penalties to you. In some cases, where the academic misconduct is also an NCAA violation, you will have to go through student athlete reinstatement. This is the process that reinstates your eligibility for competition. The penalty starts with permanent ineligibility. There can also be long-term consequences that would affect professional sports evaluation, graduate school, and future employers. Report the incident to the appropriate individual according to your school's policy. If you are not sure who that is, ask your campus or athletics academic advisor.